Yeah, I genuinely believe he is burdened with glorious purpose. But um, talking about somebody that Freddie Lundberg recognised when he was 17, he had to he, he moved him up because moved him up to the 23s because he had to lobby the rest of the coaches to say this guy plays at a higher level. And I think what people have seen now is the noise that Arsenal fans have been making about him since he made his debut. Somebody that's literally carried Arsenal's hopes. The kid showed a personality in the matches where he played. He's clearly a kid that is not afraid. He doesn't, it looks like he doesn't feel the pressure or the responsibilities. He's a free soul. Um, and Bukayo, I can't speak highly enough of him. Um, he's earned that opportunity. His performances in training since he's joined this camp have been outstanding. He feels like older than, than he really is because he's almost leading the team and this is um, a very good sign and I think oh, I'm pretty sure that he will become a, a world-class player and, and we are very happy to have him because I think this season he's, I don't know if he's the best player um, in our team but probably one of the, the best players. For years, Arsenal fans have been on the hunt to find who could be considered as greatest players from the Invincible era. Well, I think we found him. What's up everybody, it's Raf, and for the past decade and a half, Arsenal fans have crowned several knockoffs in search of the Invincible successors. This is in every position of the pitch. The next Jens Lehmann, Sol Campbell, Patrick Vieira, Dennis Bergkamp, you name it, I'm sure down to the kit man. But the most sought after replacement has always been the King, Thierry Henry, widely considered the best player to ever grace the Premier League. Every few years a player emerges at this club and after a season or two of carrying them, all hopes are left in their hands to return Arsenal back to glory. Cesc Fabregas came after the 2004 unbeaten team, Theo Walker in the early Emirates era, Jack Wilshere in 2010s, then Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang the past few years. I think even Emmanuel Adbayor once raised their hopes. And we know how that ended. And we'll do another one. Another generational talent who puts the club's hopes and dreams on their shoulders to desperately drag them back to challenging for major trophies. And in my opinion, the only player that can do that is Bakayo Saka. Now throughout this season, we have watched this young man become the main man of his team. The player they looked to, to make the difference in crucial games. And after just his second year with the first team, he was nominated for both the PFA and Ballon d'Or Young Player of the Year awards. Looking at the PFA shortlist which is given to the best young players in English football, most of the players on this list are exceptional talents and even at such a young age, some of the most important part of their teams. The winner that year was Phil Foden, who at just 20 years old, played 28 games, scoring 9 goals and assisting 5 for Man City that year. But even being this good, Foden can still be replaced by about three or four competent players who can do his job on any given day. Look at players like Riyad Mahrez, Kevin De Bruyne and Raheem Sterling contributing even greater goals this season. Not at Arsenal, they need this guy. And with his 11 goals and 5 assists this season, only Haaland at Dortmund and Vinicius Junior from Real Madrid have scored more league goals amongst under 21 players than him. This must defo make him the favourite to win the award this year especially if his team finishes fourth, which nobody thought could happen. You see, at this rate, it wouldn't surprise any of us if Saka becomes one of Arsenal's greats in the future. But, <sighs> hot take. He has the potential to be the best player of his generation. Hear me out. So before this season, he was the de facto utility player for his team, being deployed as a wing back, full back, right and left wing. So when I watched him play, I thought he was just a decent young player coming through, like countless prospects with high IQ and work rate who can be efficient within any system. A manager's dream when it comes to being utilised in multiple positions without causing an imbalance to their team. Similar to a player like James Milner, it would be difficult for anyone to think of a Milner display that has ever fallen short of a 7 out of 10, whether from a position on either wing, central midfield or even left back at Liverpool. Or even Ashley Young, who started out as a winger but was often assigned with playing defensive roles due to his versatility which made him a starter amongst very gifted England players throughout the years. And prior to this season, I thought Saka fell into this group of players. Versatile, extremely durable, great engine and just an overall team player. But missing that it factor to ever be a transcendent talent in the coming years. But I was wrong. Very wrong. Now, I know, this is a push. But here I go. Bakayo Saka is on the same trajectory as Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, I know, I'm reaching here. 
But what the hell? Have a look at these stats which shows at 79 games each in the Premier League, they have identical numbers. Saka might even edge it with a cheeky 13 assist to Ronaldo's 11. Let's come back to this in a few years. Here's the thing, Saka is not just another decent young player contributing here and there for his team. At just 20 years old, he's already the most important player at Arsenal. Can you name another under 21 player like this at a big club? The first name on the team sheet week in week out. Have a look at this list. He's top 5 in the most chances created by a player in the Premier League this season. At that age, how many players can claim this much influence? But what has taken him to that next level this season? It's his increased productivity across every aspect of his game. Dribbling, shots, goal creations, attacking third pressures and interceptions. Those are the obvious ones. His most valuable skill set is his football IQ. Having the tactical awareness of a veteran with years and years of experience under his belt. Just watch how every manager and teammate talk about him and tell me this isn't a guy you can get behind. And for Arsenal, he isn't just their best player. He also puts a shift in defensively. Mix that with his ever-expanding understanding of the game, eagerness, ability to know when to push forward or stay back in a compact shape. That's a recipe for greatness in my opinion. But the most eye-opening realisation I've made is that for the first time in nearly two decades, Arsenal have a player that can actually have the potential to be a Thierry Henry level player. In fact, I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say, I truly believe Bakayo Saka can become one of the best players of his generation. But even the best things in sliced bread can still have some weaknesses. Saka is still raw when it comes to his shooting. With just 30% of his shots being on target, he has to improve his accuracy and shot selections to be able to convert even more chances in front of goal. The other thing for him to work on is his ability to look after the ball when in possession. For a player who is highly involved in the final third and build-up play, his current 78% pass completion makes him less reliable. And these areas are not even too terrible in comparison to the league's average with similar players. But even without all that, he's incredible at dropping deep on the right-hand side of the pitch to then use his pace and dribbling ability to carry the ball forward. Or running off the ball behind defenders to then create crossing opportunities or cut in to take a swing and shot. You see? He's able to do this over and over again because, well, nobody can stop him unless you do this, or this, and this. You get the point. And lastly, Saka's brilliance may be unnoticed because he hasn't really accomplished anything yet. Well, he has an FA Cup and Community Shield trophies, but has a long way to go in proving himself by helping his team win major trophies consistently. And soon, those measures of success will be highlighted even more as he continues to grow. So let it be known, I am officially on the hype train of Bakayo Saka, who in the very near future might be the best in the world. That's it folks, until next time, peace.